Alright, so welcome back to another class slash build guide. Today we're going to be looking at the Power Answer. Now, it's really funny because in all the time I've used this class, I've never done a guide on it and I don't understand why. It did get like a big buff a couple of months back, but um, yeah. So if you guys would like to get this class for yourself, it is uh, really easy to get, but it does cost uh, Dragon Coins. So go inside here and go to the left and go right to the end and right here in this orb go to shot and you see we've got loads of classes pyromancers here um a thousand eight hundred coins it's quite expensive but it's pretty good definitely worth it anyway I, i'd say all right so the stats i'm going for with this character is uh 200 int uh 17 jones and 100 wisdom now, before I was going like a full tank where I had like a hundred endurance and um, zero wisdom. But I kind of realized that uh, it's good for bosses, but when you're in the middle of quests and stuff, it kind of falls a bit short. You end up running out of mana. I mean, you can use the rebirth skill and get it back, but you know, it's not ideal. Anyway, though, for my gear, I am using the wings of a thousand infernos. Now, um... If you want to get these, these are linked in the description to a video that I made a while back showing how to get them. So if you're interested, um, you know, my basic rings and stuff. Um, Weaver's Facade, which is um, the case we have a dragon coin um, purchase item. I just thought I'd wear that because I didn't really have anything else to go with it. Um, Stan Scarab is my pet, always. <laughs> And for my weapon, I am using the Ice Scythe. Now, um, one thing I will say, do not use a fire weapon. Uh, there's a couple, there's a little trick that the Paramancer can switch between fire damage and the damage of your weapon. So if you are using a fire weapon, uh, there's no point switching. So whatever you do, don't use a fire weapon. Uh, use anything other than a fire weapon. A good thing to use is either water or ice. The reason why I say this is because um, if you're fighting an enemy that is a fire type, like an maybe a fire elemental, you can click the book thing and switch your weapon type. And if you're using a water or an ice weapon, then you can do better damage to fire. So, you know, if you would like to get a decent weapon, I am using the ice scythe, which is a really cool item. It is Dragon Amulet. Um, but I'll show you how to get it in a sec. Now, um, the Thorn Replica makes me do 5% more uh, crit damage. Which I've just got like showing over the top of this. The special slot. So if you want to get this weapon for yourself. There are other weapons as well you can get. But if you keep going to the left here. To the right I mean, sorry. Uh, go up. And then to the right again. To the right. Turn the right, there's a lot of rights, uh, up, uh, up again, uh, to the, up, sorry, to the left, uh, left again, and then up, and we get to this guy here, uh, go to shops, uh, replica items, uh, drag amulet, um, items, and then the ice scythe is here. You can get it at different levels as well. And there's also other stuff like the De Light of Destiny. Pretty cool. And Blade of Awe. We have some really cool stuff here. Um, Zarbak Staff. Huh. That's pretty weird. Twilly Staff. I haven't seen all of these myself, so I'm quite curious. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So, if we're gonna check out the skills for this class, uh, we can't use this one yet because it's uh, we need to win nine turns. It's like a full heal and of mana. Um, this, by the way, as you can see, we can turn it on and off. So, if we turn it off, the flame spare me a weapons element, but attacks do 10% less damage. So, if it's turned on, we're gonna do fire damage regardless of your weapon. But if we turn it off, you're going to do the damage of your weapon's element, say ice in this example, but we're going to do 10% less damage. Now, the main reason to use this is so we can um, 
use a weapons element so if you're not really needing to do that you can just leave it on permanently but either way ashes and um, we'll wait until we're more injured well we don't have to actually it just gets rid of our effects it's like a bit of a heal and then the next attack we've got uh, trifling you lower your first healing quite useful for foes that heal a lot I guess <laughs> and then we have a minus 75 boost for the enemy a very good ability he's gonna do like no damage now but he's gonna miss but you know uh, damage on stone for three turns also quite nice up next we have uh, the plus 25 boost a very good attack to use um, and then you have a shield, three turns. Our basic attack, you restrain the fight within to heal yourself. And then we have this. Now, what this does, we stack it five turns. It's a damage over time and it gets stronger the more damage we do with it. Now, it kind of links with this attack. Um, and... Um, which attack is it? Uh, this attack. So we're going to build this up five times. I'm not going to do it right now. Because this is just to show you the skills. Um, we have Empower with Curse Flames. Mouse Fire is a very good ability. Because what that is going to do. Uh, Curse Flames plus 75 bonus for four turns. So we basically get 75% more damage. Uh, faster than Omega Griffin. An average attack. Not the best, but just average. Uh, multi. Awesome. Now the good thing about the multi attack, by the way, is that generally does more damage than your normal attack. So if you've ever got a turn where you're just going to normally attack, use your multi if you can. Uh, consume your base fire to unleash. And he died. Uh, basically what that's going to do is it's going to consume the build up that we did, that build up stat. And um, it's going to basically power us up. And the next we have uh, this attack here which um, I can't really show you very easily. It, it'll seem kind of weak to use because in fact we haven't got we can't even use it anyway uh, I'll show you that in a sec uh, unleash your power it's a big attack nice and then that's it alright so I am in the green screen room right now the reason for this is because I don't think the enemy the driller will survive all these attacks so um, we're gonna test it on this so this guy has a lot of health, <laughs> but anyway, we're going to set up with the best rotation. So what we're going to do is, obviously your book is going to be either on or off, depending on what damage you want to do. So if you want to do fire, do leave it on. If you want to do ice, turn it off. Uh, but either way, uh, burn, you can do this five times. So um, let me de-equip Stan real quick, sorry. Oh wait, I can't do it, can I? Uh, it's best to have stand off just so we can save time and it's just raw damage of the class. There you go, uh, there's two. And then three. And the good thing about this guy is he can't attack us. Four. So it was also a little bit faster. And then five. So you can see that we get a lot of damage over time here, which is really nice. And then what we do, we con flag, which is this. <laughs> Enhance your flames and power. It basically got, um, got rid of all your mage fire buildup, but buffs, yeah. So right here we have um, devouring mage fire, enhanced mage fire, healing based on paramounted flames, 94 times. Uh, but either way, uh, next we do in Kindle. Which is this, the boost. 
Then we get 25% more damage. Then we gotta do mouse fire. Then we get these attacks called filler attacks. Now, what these mean is I can just do whatever we want. But so we're gonna do the multi attack, a thousand damage, and then we're gonna do the mecha gripping. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's not one of your best attacks, like um, you're not gonna use final or something. Um, either way, the Phoenix, which is. I always forget where a lot of these abilities are. They all kind of look the same, it's just a picture of fire. <laughs> Alright, the Phoenix is the final. Of course it is, sorry. <laughs> Either way, either way, I'm dying. Look at that damage. That is ridiculous. <laughs> you can do some really good damage to this class. And then we get Breath. Also a shit ton of damage. And then we're going to build up these again. So we're going to get five of these total, like we did last time. That was three. Four. And five. So we have five of those now, and what we're gonna do this time is in Kindle. And then we're gonna use Mouse Fire. And then we're gonna do three filler attacks. So we're just gonna do this. And then this again. And then let's do this again. And then next is two ashes. And then after that, we do the burn five. And then repeat this whole process. So after you do the ashes, we, um, basically reset what I just did but either way though I hope this video was helpful it's kind of a little bit of a mess and it <laughs> you know it's the way it turned out anyway though thank you for watching I'll see you on the next part video uh, thing built class bye bye